One of Starfleet's most impressive and amazing discoveries was that of the artificially created wormhole known as the Bajoran Wormhole. But wormholes were no stranger to Starfleet Command as they had been dealing with them for centuries. Hello and welcome to Trek Facts, a fun and fast informational web series on the fundamentals of Star Trek. In today's video we'll be taking a look at wormholes to better understand their place in Star Trek history. The term wormhole is a layman's term which covers any number of phenomenon within the Starfleet Sciences Division. Generally speaking, a wormhole is a tunnel or corridor through space that connects two points in space-time. This means that any ship entering a wormhole at one point could potentially exit the wormhole hundreds or even thousands of light years away in a very short period of time. In 2271, to Starfleet's amazement, an immense cloud of unknown intent was on a direct course for Earth. Destroying everything in its path, Starfleet would send out the newly refit USS Enterprise to investigate the object and hopefully stop it from destroying Earth. During its travels to the unknown object, the USS Enterprise, engaging its never-before-tested warp drive system, would end up creating an artificial wormhole which almost destroyed the ship due to a stray asteroid which was also caught up in the phenomenon. Negative control. Inertial angle continued 22.5 seconds before forward velocity slows to sublight speed. Unidentified small object has been put into the wormhole with us, Captain, directly ahead. Time to impact. 20 seconds. Destroying the asteroid, the Enterprise was able to escape and it discovered that the imbalance in the engine system was what caused the wormhole and until it was corrected, it would cause the same malfunction over and over again. After fixing the imbalance, the Enterprise was able to rendezvous with the object that they discovered to be named V'ger, and through investigation was able to determine V'ger was actually Voyager 6, a human probe sent out in the 20th century to explore the cosmos. Voyager 6 had actually disappeared into what was mistakenly at the time called a black hole. Captain, Voyager 6 disappeared to what they used to call a black hole. But what was really a wormhole and emerged on the other side of the galaxy caught in a machine planet's gravitational field. This machine planet then modified and expanded the probe so Voyager 6 could finish its original programming to collect data and return that data to Earth. Somewhere along its journey back, however, the probe gained some form of sentience, but also realized to evolve more, it needed to merge with a human, its creator. Commander Will Decker of the Enterprise did in fact merge with V'ger, and as a result, saved Earth and the crew of the Enterprise. V'ger's current status and whereabouts is currently unknown. In 2366, the USS Enterprise, under the command of Captain Jean-Luc Picard, would participate in negotiations for the rights to what was known as the Barzan Wormhole, which the Barzans believed to be the first stable, naturally occurring wormhole in existence. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, the first and only stable wormhole known to exist. After investigating the wormhole, however, it was discovered that it in fact had a stable aperture in the Barzan system, but its other aperture was not stable and as such the wormhole was of no practical use to the Federation. We are not where we are supposed to be. According to the Barzan probe, we should be in the Gamma Quadrant, but these readings clearly indicate we are nearly 200 light years away in Sector 3556 of the Delta Quadrant. By 2367, Starfleet had begun the process of mapping small and extremely unstable wormholes in the Titari system. 
The Enterprise-D would investigate the star system and would herself pass through one of these wormholes. Though a fascinating phenomenon, Starfleet scientists believe that due to the small size and relatively short lifespan of these wormholes, that these holes in space would be only a local phenomenon and not galaxy spanning as some future wormholes that would be discovered had to offer. Then in 2369, Commander Benjamin Sisko and his science officer Lieutenant Jadzia Dax would discover what would become termed the Bajoran wormhole. An artificially created construct, this wormhole would be a permanent gateway between the Alpha and Gamma quadrants. Created by wormhole aliens that actually resided within the wormhole, these aliens were known to the Bajorans as prophets, their gods. And thanks to successful negotiations, Sisko was able to ensure the wormhole's use by Starfleet as a tool to explore the Gamma Quadrant. A scientific endeavor which would bring with it both great scientific opportunities and devastating consequences for the Alpha and Beta Quadrants. In 2371, while stranded in the Delta Quadrant, the USS Voyager under the command of Captain Catherine Janeway would encounter a micro-wormhole that led back to the Alpha Quadrant. Verderon emanations, tunneling secondary particles. It certainly looks like a wormhole. There is, of course, a 75% chance a wormhole will not lead to the Alpha Quadrant. Very true. But you can also say there's a 1 in 4 chance it will. Those aren't bad odds. Using a probe that they had sent into the wormhole that had become lodged within it, Voyager was able to make contact with the Romulan science vessel and began to make plans to abandon Voyager and transport the entire crew back to Federation space. Unfortunately, after the successful transport of the Romulan commander to the USS Voyager, it was discovered that the wormhole was not only a gateway through space, but a gateway through time as well as the wormhole led 20 years into the past. This rendered the wormhole useless to Voyager's crew as any use would end up contaminating the timeline. As a result, Voyager would abandon the collapsing wormhole and continue on course for the Alpha Quadrant. In 2372, a Trill scientist, Dr. Lenara Khan, would test her wormhole theory. Installing a subspace tensor matrix into the USS Defiant to create an artificial yet stable wormhole, during the initial test she was in fact able to generate a wormhole which remained stable for 23.4 seconds. An astounding breakthrough for Starfleet. And although her second test would not fare as well, when the probe she sent into the wormhole, shields interacted and destabilized the wormhole collapsing it, the data gathered during these tests would keep Starfleet scientists occupied for years. In 2375, the USS Voyager would use a spatial vortex, a type of wormhole to travel beyond a void in space that they were traveling. Discovering that the Malon were using this void as a dumping ground for their theta radiation waste, and as a result were poisoning the inhabitants native to the void, Voyager would use its torpedoes to destabilize and destroy the aperture on the Void's side, while simultaneously riding the shockwave before the entire vortex collapsed. They were successful in doing so, and as a result, saved the inhabitants of the Void from further waste being dumped in their space. Also in 2375, while traveling through Devor space, the USS Voyager would use a cyclical vortex, another type of wormhole, to assist telepaths escaping the Devor Imperium, as being a telepath was illegal, and as a result, all telepaths were being hunted down and exterminated. Using all the data collected on wormholes over the centuries, Starfleet was able to produce an artificial micro-wormhole in 2376. Using this micro-wormhole, Starfleet Command was able to temporarily communicate with the USS Voyager in the Delta Quadrant. Starfleet Command continues to utilize and explore the various wormholes they encounter, collecting data in hopes that one day, Starfleet will be able to create their own stable wormholes, 
allowing almost instantaneous travel to the far reaches of the galaxy and beyond.